All right, let's make a quick t-shirt. I'm going to show you two ways to save an image off the internet if you want to use it. So right now, I've Googled Birthday Squad. What you saw me do was right-click the image and hit Save As. Of course, name it whatever you want to name it. And then you hit Save. Another option to using an image that you find on the internet is using your snipping tool so after you find the image you hit snipping tool and then there's a little box that will pop up right here you will hit new and then what you do is you just drag the mouse or the cursor around the image just like so and then you um, find it at the bottom of your screen or wherever it is at on your screen and then you hit the little save button of course make sure you name the image what you want the image to be um because sometimes you can have duplicates so i just put b squad because there's a lot of birthday squad images in here we went over into design space and now we are going to find our image and here it goes we hit open so um, you have three options, simple, moderate, complex. These are just words, so it's very simple. They do have the remove background feature. See how you could just hit it and it'll take everything out the back. Or you can also go in um, and just click each one. And then, like in the inside of the letters uh, and around whatever the image is, Sometimes clicking it makes the image a little bit more clear. I don't know what it is with Cricut with that background feature. It does not always come out clear. And it'll give you two options. You'll have print and cut or you will have the um, just the cut option. And so, of course, I was just running it back to show y'all one more time how we cleared that background. So... Whenever you upload an image to cut it, it should have this little checkered background if you are in design space. So if you're going to save it as a cut file, make sure that you go in, remove your background. I don't know what's wrong with the left side. Why is it not popping up? Okay, you guys get the point though. And then once you saved it, you go, you click on it and hit add to canvas. It's going to bring it over onto your canvas, and this is where you resize it. I know a lot of people, when they get to this step, is where they get confused or they get messed up. Up here at the top, you click on the lock to unlock it. You change it to the dimensions that you want, and we're going to do 11 for the width and 6 for the height. What you want to do next is go back and lock it because sometimes if you add other stuff to the page, it will change the sizing of it. Um, and since we're doing two of them, I hit duplicate. So once you lock it, if you duplicate it, it'll make the second one the same exact size. For you, I'm going to change the mat size to the 24 inch mat to make sure both of them are on the same one and since it is iron on somebody drop below and tell me what you're supposed to do bingo you are supposed to mirror it you have to mirror the image in order to be able to iron it on because if you don't your words will come out backwards um i just click smart iron on um of course if you're using glitter or whatever material you're using make sure you make those adjustments um I don't know why I skipped the part of me placing the vinyl on the mat, but it's always shiny side down. So with this particular vinyl, um, as you can see, like the shiny material is literally face down onto the mat. And then you just hit the play button or you, yeah, you gotta hit the play button on all of them besides the joys. Of course, if you were using the Cricut Joy or the Joy Extra, you would use your phone or your ipad or whatever you're using to operate it but with the larger machines they do have a button this is the cricut maker 3 um the original maker is up under it and then there's a silhouette for no, yeah cameo 4 at the bottom of this shelf um in case anyone was wondering 
And then, of course, you just let the Cricut do its magic and you weed it. I, of course, sped it up for this portion. A quick tip with weeding is if you warm the vinyl up. So if you're using the heat press and you press the heat press down and let it pop up and you lay your vinyl on top of it, um, it'll weed so much easier. Weeding cold vinyl um, can make it come off in all of those little bitty pieces, which can sometimes be a hassle, which is why most people don't like weeding my heat press is set at 315 for 15 seconds i am going to pre-press this shirt and then we are just going to line it up um you can use a measuring tool or you can use the three finger method uh, of course if it's a small child shirt you're not going to use three fingers because it's going to be too big so right now i'm just making sure that it is in the correct spot and then we're going to press it um, this is the Cricut Auto Press. It's also linked in my bio. It is currently on sale. Of course, when they first came out, they was like a thousand dollars. I think they're like five hundred. Vivor also has a dupe of this auto press for like two hundred dollars. I love my Cricut Auto Press. As you can see, you can walk away, be doing everything. Your shirt not gonna burn up because whatever time you set, it is going to pop open this is that infamous cooling block because this is a cold peel but i don't have to wait because i use the cooling block and then we are going to press it one more time and then we have made us a t-shirt and it was easy breezy quick and easy happy crafting guys get out there make something be creative make a couple dollars and just live your life. Be happy.